how to be a better husband. My name is Coach Adrian, and this is Happily Committed. If you're watching this video, you probably want to learn how you can be a better husband. And I commend you for that, because ultimately, maximizing your potential in love is about maximizing your ability to be the best partner that you can be. We cannot control our significant other. We cannot control our wives, our girlfriends. All that we can do, really, truly, is to be the best version of ourselves. And in turn, hope that this empowers us to be in a sustainable, happy, healthy marriage. And I am here to help you reach that goal. And I believe that you can become your best self and a fantastic and amazing husband if you stay and listen to the five tips that I will unveil in this video. Number one, it is about raising your emotional IQ. Everything that I'm going to convey here in this video is linked to raising your emotional IQ. What does that mean? It means that you need to be able to understand your partner, your wife, what makes them tick, in order to react the right way, especially when the going gets tough, especially when you can be angry or when tensions are high. And raising your emotional IQ is basically, it starts with educating yourself. And that's why I am so happy that you found Happily Committed and that you're watching this video right here. Educating yourselves on how to become a better person and a better husband is the foundation of basically being in a sustainable, happy marriage. So we need to make sure that we're going to put our ego aside and we're going to basically look, take a long look in the mirror to figure out what our shortcomings are and how we can improve. How can we be better? When we talk about raising our emotional IQ, the second thing that you're going to want to think about is empathy. Empathy is the key to all relationships. If you're able to have more empathy, you're going to be able to relate to your partner, to make them feel heard, to make them feel understood. Ask yourself, what emotion is your wife feeling? Don't listen just to respond. Stop trying to convey your point of view. Understand what your significant other is feeling and validate those feelings. Because if you're able to do that, your wife will feel heard and understood and loved. And most of the time, when your wife communicates with you, she's not communicating to find answers to problems. She's communicating because she needs to feel heard. She needs to feel validated. Her feelings need to be validated. And if you focus on raising your level of empathy, you will in turn make your wife feel heard and you will be a better husband, no doubt. Tip number three is to speak your wife's love language. There's a very famous book by Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages. And if you haven't heard of this book, or if you haven't read the book, I highly recommend that you do so. Go beyond just taking a quiz online about the book to understand what your love language is. Go through that material. You're going to learn so much and it's going to change your life and your marriage forever. I have absolutely no doubt that you will become a better husband, that you will raise your emotional IQ by continuing to educate yourself and starting with the book Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. In this book, you'll understand what truly can make your wife happy. Not how you want to make her happy, how she wants to feel and how she basically um, can, can receive that happiness that, that you are willing to give her, that you are seeking to provide to your partner. Tip number four is all about listening and communicating better. And communication is not about what you have to say. It's choosing the right words, speaking in the right tone of voice, making sure that you don't attack your partner because then it becomes an argument and we're not communicating anymore. And there are many different tools, things that you can do to communicate more effectively 
And if you go through our website at Happily Committed, you will find all sorts of resources to make sure that you become a better communicator, an active listener, and someone that will make your wife and others feel heard and important. But if I can share one tip with you, is to make sure that you give your wife the gift of your presence, your undivided attention. We live in a world, in a society now, where we're connected to technology. We always have our phone in our hands, or we're looking at a screen, or we're seeking the next distraction. And that is basically telling the person that is talking to you or the person that is next to you that they're not important. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, you are shutting them away. You're shutting them out, pushing them away. And giving your wife the gift of your presence, your undivided attention, shows them that you love them, that you are willing to do what it takes to build this relationship the right way. So starting today, when you're with your significant other, try to put the phone down and listen to them. Listen to how they're feeling when they're communicating certain things to you. And you will see that your relationship or your marriage will improve drastically overnight. Finally, in order to be a better husband, you need to make sure that you yourself are happy. All of the different areas of our lives are interconnected, they're intertwined. And if you're not fulfilled, particularly professionally, if you're not living with purpose, feeling like you are making a difference in the world and being a provider for your family, it's very difficult to be in a happy marriage. Men, we need to feel like we are provider. We need to feel like we are doing something that is contributing to the betterment of the world, of our society, and that we are there to support our families. And so if you're not where you wanna be in your relationship, I encourage you to take a step back and look at where you are in these different areas of your life to make sure that you do what you have to do to strive and to excel. And in turn, you'll be happier and you'll become a much more pleasant person to be around and a better husband. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, leave me your thoughts and your questions in the comment description below. I am here for you. I believe that you can be happily committed too and that you can create the relationship that you want with the partner that you have. Take good care and see you soon for another video on Happily Committed.